What's up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Spark once again, uh, as I'm putting out some more videos about just tips and tricks on this platform. Uh, I think I'm using it in a pretty unique way and you guys are letting me know that you're enjoying it through some personal messages on Facebook and comments and stuff, which I appreciate. Um, but today I got another question of someone asking, um, you know, other ways that they can use Spark and specifically for KDP. And I have taught a class on this. This is inside of kind of the Merch 101, like the master course that I've made, uh, where I'm going to be adding all of my knowledge about this uh, Adobe Spark program. But I thought today I'd just show you what is capable, or what this tool rather, is capable of doing, uh, and how you can actually create book covers. I covered this a little bit in like the first video where I talked about Spark, uh, but just showing a little bit more in depth, especially now that we understand that we can use multiple images inside of Spark, uh, just showing some of the possibilities and things that you can do creatively inside of Spark uh, to make your life easier. I know that uh, doing journals inside of KDP or no content books, uh, you know, where you're just kind of switching out the inside covers, uh, or sorry, the inside interior pages, um, is great and all, but all like a lot of those tools don't have a great cover builder. Uh, and even the one that's baked right into KDP is a huge headache to use if you've had to use that before. Uh, and I think KD, er, sorry, I think Adobe Spark rather uh, is a better solution to making covers, especially if you're doing like journals and no content things, uh, where you're just looking for certain imagery on the front page uh, or on that cover rather uh, to, you know, stick out and to grab people's attention as they're scrolling through on Amazon. So let's again, I'll go inside. I'm in my car where I love to travel, um, but I just want to jump inside, show you guys some over-the-shoulder stuff, uh, and then we'll close the video out. All right, guys, I'll talk to you in a second. So we made it inside, uh, and this is actually Amazon's website, the KDP website, uh, and this is how to get a template that we want to use uh, for the cover. It's important to work off of the templates that KDP gives us because that's going to give us the exact sizing that we'll need for this book, uh, and they have all the trim sizes here for us. So depending on what size book you want to make, you just come in here and grab that cover, tell it how many page uh, pages are going to be in your book uh, and what color the paper will be because that actually does affect the thickness of the paper uh, and then you can download that cover template and so that's a way to guarantee that we have the right size when we go to upload this to KDP uh, instead of trying to convert all the pixels and you know guesstimate at the page count how thick that's going to make it um, this is like the most guaranteed way to have all that stuff just figured out and this is actually a really powerful way to get those templates. Now, if you're creating multiple journals, all the same style as far as the sizing of the book, the page count, and the color, you'll only have to come here once, but for each different book that you wanna make as far as different sizes, uh, you will have to come here and get different templates. But let's go ahead and jump into Spark. Uh, so the, again, this is the same tool that I've been showing you guys, Adobe Spark. Uh, it's 100% free to come in here and start working on projects. Uh, I definitely suggest you go at least check it out. Uh, you know, we have to work around a few things because again, this is made for social media, uh, but you can definitely do things like this, which is get one of those templates inside of Spark so you can start working on building an actual book cover. We're not going to be able to create the interior of the book here on Spark, um, but there are a lot of programs and resources out there to help you do that, uh, but they don't always allow you to do covers, and that's why I wanted to talk about Spark today, uh, about these book covers. So just quickly showing you that you can indeed get one of those templates in here. This is the exact size, so when we download it, it's not going to give us any problems uploading it to KDP. So obviously we do not want to keep our book template, uh, you know, we don't want to upload this as our book cover. We want to be able to add, you know, text and image uh, and different things to make this unique and make this, again, jump out on Amazon so customers will want to buy uh, whatever journal or book that we are creating. And so you can definitely do that, again, by going up here to this Add button. Uh, we can add photos, like we talked a little bit about in the last video where we showed we can use multiple photos, uh, but we can also use icons, which is not something that I went to 
too in depth on. Uh, and this is, you know, the icon system that's built right into Adobe Spark. Uh, and this is literally hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of different icons uh, for kind of anything that you can think of that you would want to put on your journal. Uh, I showed this off a little bit in the first video, but I just wanted to show kind of the power of this tool. So if I went ahead and typed in cat here, you can see that it just starts spitting out a ton of different cat icons. And so this is so fantastic because these are all free to use, which means we can use any one of these on our books, uh, you know, to help us get sales, to help us stand out. And you can see it just keeps on loading all of these different images. And all I typed in was cat. So imagine all the different possibilities when just using these icons uh, and being able to add text. Now, if we jump ahead just a little bit, uh, I went ahead and uploaded some images. It can take a while to upload these images. That's why I just did it ahead of time to save us some time on this video. Uh, but you can see these are all different images that I've imported here uh, and I can manipulate them in a lot of different ways and rotate them and put them however I want on this back cover if I wanted to create like a little collage um, or like I you know hinted at to in one of the other videos is adding like an author picture here on the back cover uh, which is a very popular thing to do now if you're writing you know a book that is your book and not just a journal that definitely you want to have an author's image on the back here uh, but being able to you know, use multiple pictures like this, and you can add as many as you want. You could cover up the entirety of this back page here. Um, but, you know, I also think having just one nice clean image on the front cover uh, has helped us sell a lot of journals and something that we have, uh, you know, done and found success with. So that's, you know, something else that you can keep in mind there. Um, the last thing I want to show it off is just the text tool, how easy it can be. Uh, obviously, you'd want to have something. Um, a little bit more unique than just cat journal and throwing that on the front page uh, but you can see that you know the text in this program looks really good and there's this cool tool here that allows us to randomize the text so we can get a lot of different feels now you can go in and individually change all these different styles and the shadows and uh, other shapes around the text there's a lot that we can do, but this tool just allows us to randomly generate those things. If you're not super creative or if you don't know exactly what you want, um, then we can just, you know, create something like that. And there we go. That's our cover for the book. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, just a really quick glance. I'm really just trying to show you guys what is possible with this tool. Uh, I know always like jumping into a tool and trying to understand and trying to figure everything out for yourself can be a little overwhelming. So hopefully you guys uh, feel more confident understanding what this tool can do uh, and if it's the right thing for you to be using. Now I do have that course that is like all of the information that I know on this tool I'm adding to that course. Uh, currently it's just focusing in on, um, you know, print on demand as far as apparel but I will be using it for KDP and for uh, some other projects in the future as well. Uh, and just doing a lot of things because I have so much time inside of this tool. Uh, I definitely haven't seen anyone else talk about how to get multiple images in here and be able to, uh, you know, manipulate the way that I have found. <laughs> so I think I just have a lot of cool tips and tricks uh, to help you guys use this tool and create more competitive designs uh, quickly and efficiently for your print on demand business. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that quick video. Again, just trying to give you guys a taste of what this tool can do uh, and you know, hopefully inspire you guys to go try this out for yourselves. Uh, I know this is a place that a lot of people have gotten stuck or just frustrated with the cover builder built into KDP. Uh, and so I found this as a solution and think there's a lot of cool things that you can do with it. Now, if you guys are looking at all the crazy setup that I have on top of my laptop there, uh, I hope the next video that comes out on this channel will be talking about kind of my setup for my laptop and how I've been able to travel with that small package as I'm here in my friend's recording studio. Um, I've just been able to like plop that kind of wherever I'm at that I have Wi-Fi. Uh, on the back it actually gets a little bit crazier with an extra Wi-Fi extender and all kinds of things back there. Um, and so I just want to talk about that a little bit. It's taken me a while to find like the exact mic that I like and some lighting solution. Uh, so hopefully I can you know create a video on that that will be uh, you know inspirational for those people who have traveled. Uh, I've met people in real life and they've seen myself up and they just like asked me all about it so every time I'm just having to like tell everyone like this is the mic that I like this is the camera I like uh, so I'm just going to create a video on this channel so I can point people to that and hopefully you guys find that interesting but all right until I see you guys next time hopefully enjoy and hopefully you dig into spark here a little I'm bit here more. though I may be a weirdo but this is my year yo my life may be crazy my lack of the lazy has let me do that I love on the daily 